Hello, welcome back to Rick's Kits. Okay, here we are with a further update on the F4U 1 2 Birdcage Corsair, my buddy build with my friend Al Wood from Al Wood's Modeling Mayhem. Go and check his channel out if you uh, want to follow his build on this kit. We are doing a Corsair for the 80th anniversary on the Battle of Peleliu. <clears throat> We're on the 26th of September. Corsairs from VMF 114 landed on Peleliu airfield and proceeded to um, take the attack to the Imperial Japanese. Uh, basically off the island as the fighting was going all around the airfield so you know they were just as vulnerable as the uh, the marine infantrymen that were going in and uh, trying to clear them out uh, so currently my update is I have let me just cut a little bit um, I have the wheels, oh, not the rest of the stuff down. We've got the wheels on. We've got a touch up black rubber on there. Uh, but the wheel, the undercarriage is done, so to speak. Uh, real. Take the Arista hook off of there because the uh, Marines Corsairs were land based Corsairs and not. Uh, carrier based Corsairs, so we're taking the Arista hook off. Uh, the other small bits of prepped, um, I've got the propeller primed and prepped. Um, this is going to have uh, for VMF 114, uh, they had a white boss, and part of the lower propeller blades were white as well. Uh, obviously, I've got to do the yellow for the outside. Um, and we have the aircraft put together. Um, I've done my own masks out of masking tape and cutting round. Um, we have the flared engine cowling. Um, sometimes it's basically it's normally used during flight to call the engine down while you're flight. Uh, I don't have any, I don't have the exhausts on here yet because I want to do the colours on, on the base first before um, we get around to dropping the exhausts in there afterwards. Uh, we've still got a light lens to deal with there and the lenses on the side of the wings. Uh, Al, if you're watching, if you're going to do the fixed wing version like this uh, in the instructions, um, let me go back to Al. Um, Right, Al. These these pieces here, B twenty six and B nine. Uh, I'm getting a little bit closer. If I can get it right, Al. If you see that pin there, right in the fix for the fix wing version, I'd make the suggestion you cut it off. I've cut mine off, and the reason being is that. In this part of the instructions here, which is stage 12, right, you can see it says make a hole. Well, when you make that hole, which is this whole second hole here, and my fingertip, oh God, you're not going to focus. There you go, the second hole up there. Um, not quite in alignment. So what it will do, you leave that pin on, and that's for anybody else who actually wants to know, um, to 
and these go on when that pin gets in there you end up with this situation where the wing is not fitting properly all right so i've cut mine off and i'm able to get a better alignment both top and the bottom of the wing to, to glue that in place that's that's a suggestion if you want to spend ages and ages and ages getting that alignment correct then by all means leave the pin on but i suggest you take it off and you'll get a better alignment on the wings like that uh, i've covered the engine up but let me take it out and get it in to shot again get it in focus probably not Broke one side i have put the remaining uh, wires in on, around the engine for no reason i'm not getting a very good bit on this camera for some moment but yeah i've i've wired up the rest of the engine for the for the front bank of uh the front bank of the engine i didn't bother with the bank I'm not going to see it. You can't see it. The only thing you see would be the bits of wires going. I do play around with that all so much. Uh, not too bad if it's on a much, much larger scale. I thought I was technically minded when that sort of stuff, but for me, it's like if you can't see it, you don't get done. Don't get painted. Uh, as for painting, uh, the Marines colours are cool. A mix of etc. So, which is one part. A little bit like um, an intermediate blue sort of colour. And then you've got XF19 and blue. By grey. So I have invested in these from AK, which is real colours. Uh, these are lacquer base paints, you see, it cost me an And it's the US Navy and US Marine Corps aircraft colours. Uh, this is a Hellcat here. Uh, sea blue, intermediate blue and uh in sydney white the front what you get in here is the light gold gray which basically is the color like the sea gray light gold gray on the bottom of the marines you get the blue gray get sea blue get dark sea blue get intermediate blue and you get insignia white uh insignia white is normally you generally generally used on the bottom of the navy corsairs uh light gray for like the wild that's the wild cat i know the wild cats come in uh intermediate blues and things like that so uh, under the Avengers here, you've got the Hellcat in the Dark Sea, and then you've got the Sea Blue again with the Sea and the Insignia White. So bearing in mind that the like a sort of intermediate blue stroke, bluish grey, it's going to be one of these two, which will be the top coat. And then I will do gonna do we'll go with the light grey supposed to be sea grey on the underneath so I'm gonna use these colours to paint her up. Um as far as putting the model together now there's not much more left to do other than I mean paint up the bits and pieces. This has to go in primer. I've got a blue wing on this has to go in primer and uh basically after that 
I'll be putting paint on and uh, not to spoil anything I won't be doing a final reveal just yet as I need to uh, I'll catch up uh, that's where we are that's where that's where I'm at so uh, in the next one bye for now